Welcome back to the Black Parade. Well, we uh, we found the ruby that they all wanted. Found some other good stuff to sell. And then we found ourselves causing one heck of a ruckus in uh, the Dragon Pit. I'm sure that won't have any repercussions, right? And I'm sure nobody recognized me as one of the world's uh, willing or unwilling retinue. Only semi willing, I think. Well, let's see what we've got coming up next. The Builder is thy most faithful ally in these times of peril and blasphemy. When the dead grows restless and thy mind becomes clouded with doubts, when thy hand loses its iron grip and thy body quakes with fear, never forget that the Builder harshly punishes those who turn away from him and his will. Things could be worse. Getting Aldrius' demise was a challenge in itself. But it paid off, as the wall seemed to be extremely satisfied. No rest for thievery, though, as he soon gave me another job. One of DeWall's musings is a harp inlaid with priceless amethysts, which belong to the Howtrees, one of the oldest families in the city. He's been trying to get it for years, but none of the sneaks he hired to do the job came back, and some flat out refused to do it. And, well, I can't blame them. The Howtree family used to own a vast manor in the old quarter, but it was promptly abandoned during the incident and now lies beyond the barricades, those huge ramparts the authorities at that time built to contain the dead. The old quarter is a lively place, but few dare go near the barricades, and the immediate area beyond is almost completely abandoned, save for the odd rogue in hiding or a walking corpse or two. Finding a way past the ramparts is my first task, and once inside the sealed section, I'll have to make my way to the Howtree Manor. I have a map of the ward, but it's old and the barricades weren't built back then. I also have a map of the manor, but like the map of the ward, it may not accurately represent how the place looks like today. Let's hope I can find my way around, and as usual, come as prepared as I can. Alright, find a way past the barricades, get into the sealed section. Break into Hawtree Manor and steal the harp in with Amethysts. And you heard that one of the descendants of the old Hawtree bloodline has been looking for her family portraits. They were left during the old quarter incident and with some luck are probably still in the manor. Find them. So... They were getting them an heirloom and stealing a different heirloom from them. That's kind of funny. Time to put your skills to the test. Rub this part of town blind for at least 1500 worth. Don't kill any humans while you're on the job. That's just really bad text when you're so close to the seal section. Wouldn't want them coming back. Yeah, let's let's keep doing this on expert. I just like I like the ex extra objectives. Um, and uh, I guess I can afford the healing potions to survive with for the lower hit points as long as they don't take too much fall damage. More zombies is fine, more zombies doesn't bother me. I mean, zombies are usually easy to avoid. Maybe there's more... Maybe there's more under barracks that would be uh, funny. We've got a hot tip. Oh wow, these are getting more expensive every day. Shady pawnbroker is willing to divulge what he claims is very valuable info. For a hefty price, 275 Do you realize I could buy... Uh, that's more than a healing potion. Let's start with the healing potions. What else we got to start with? Oh, we get we start with one. That's nice. Two ropes, broadheads. We don't need more of those. More waters would be good. Some mines could be useful. I think they turned out to be useful last time. Uh, in a pinch. Let's take the hot tip. Let's get a couple mines. Do I need that many water arrows? Probably not. And what arrows? Hmm. 
I don't need three mines. Two mines is good. Two mines is good. Let's get another. Do I want holy water? No, I don't. I'd rather have the the water arrows. Let's grab that and stock up on waters. And well, we'll just have to leave twenty-two as a tip uh, in the pub just before we go. Let's read this hot tip. Some of the local landlords are damn stubborn and categorically refuse to obey some degree that orders all old quarter landlords in possession of estates close to the barricades to break up specific doors and windows in their manors and the houses they put up for rent. Doors and windows facing the inside of the sealed section, to be exact. Go like morbid curiosity or just plain stupidity. That is not worth be quite a pretty sight on some nights. But tonight isn't one of those nights. That isn't worth 275. That's oh, somebody might have a door or window that is never sealed up. I'd love to find the guy who offered to sell me this and uh, introduce him to the hot tip of a broadhead or fire arrow, even. And what's we'll stop by having a look right above our heads? Nobody ever looks up. <sighs> Except when they do. Well, this place is guarded. Actually, you know what? I should check my map. Okay, Glendale Estate. Blackwind Manor. Alderman's Court. Reportedly walled up. Didn't somebody just, like, sketched in where the wall is on this map? It might give the game away for I ask them to mark it up. So, yes. First floor, second floor. Okay. Okay. Captain, just a quick note to let you know I sent Grunbell to silence that cabin boy. Your secret is safe. I'm also taking the opportunity to tell you that contacting Farron Piley, a top man on the Maiden's Avarice, might be interesting. That chap had a vision, very much like yours, while sailing on the northern seas. He insists the wind stopped dead for a minute, and that a sinister dark mass appeared under the water and gazed at him before everything returned to normal. The crew denies the event, but an uneasiness can be felt every time someone talks about it. I think there is a number to and that this Ferron blog is the only one who isn't afraid to talk about it. You can contact him at the Grinning Boar Inn in Bidwix Hollow if you wish. Is that a place here? Probably not, right? We can't pick it up, so it's uh, probably just there for colour. I mean, he could still be coming in here. Somebody yelling incoherently on the street there. But <laughs> I heard something. Oh, that's okay. No, that's just, this is fine. Sausages? Can I take the sausages? No. I can take the knife. That's not good, I don't want to be out here when he's coming back. <sighs> he could be coming straight back out here and see me. I guess I can go in the window. Moldering bits of statue. All these chains that would... Oh god, I hate this trope. I mean, yeah, it makes it convenient to get across a lot of... <sighs> Uh, oh, there's nothing else here. Okay, I thought there's another door he went in. <sighs> there's someone there? there? Nothing, nothing. It makes it convenient to get across from building to building. But, like, these would be pulling the buildings down. Buildings are... <clears throat> trying to resist. 
outward forces on the walls. It's a pretty significant bit of uh, what the architecture is designed to do. But hang any chance I've got between the buildings, you're going to make them collapse. Oh, I can't probably stand here. Well, alright. No harm done. Whose belt tower is this anyway? Uh, is this Blackwood Manor? <coughs> this is the last time I attend one of your banquets, Johan. This was the worst food I ate in ages. But, but I got those delicious foodstuffs from Bowen, and, and the wine from Salania. Your cook is responsible for such a mess. The food was overcooked and inedible. Well, yes, you're right, of course, verily. I'll have him beaten by my guard. And, to add insult to injury, the company was awful, and the minstrel kept looking at my bosom. Truly unacceptable. I'll have him flogged and fed to the hounds. I am furious, Johan. Furious! I was also very disappointed in the service. Your servant spilled some wine on the floor, and it splashed on my clothes. Look! My garments are ruined! Such dishonor to my noble name, and to your graceful person. I'll have my servants sent to the pillory. Your captain of the guard was also very rude to me and did not properly address my fine person of exceptional status. Such horror. I'll have him cut out his own tongue. And, and, and now I've run out of things to complain about. But it was dreadful, Johan. Utterly dreadful. You should be ashamed. But, but I am, dear. I am. I'll, I'll, I'll have my soon-to-be mute captain of the guard throw me out of a window for having disgraced you. Oh, this is the least you can do. The last play was such dreadful hogwash. I can't believe the actors didn't actually die. Rubbish. The last play was... doesn't mean that's just an idle line. The last play was dreadful hogwash. I can't believe the actors didn't actually die. Alright, so Johan... What's that? Can't you see I'm busy here? Must have taken too much brandy. Face and its dirty shadows. <laughs> ah, I can't wait. A miscreant, a scoundrel, guards. I can smell the grapes ripening in the sun. What? Oh, he's got a. He's got a. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Guardsmen, a lady taker is stalking me. Good night, Karen. Good night, Johan. You guys just sleep happily there. Oh my god. Ugh. I can't tell you how annoying I find. I mean, it's not like it's kind of cool, but all these damn city missions are just like, well, here's a random web of connections all over the place, and. Yeah, I know it's my fault that I'm, uh... Oh, it's electric lights. Well, it's not my fault, but it's my problem that I'm, uh... Oh, that would've made it easier to sneak across here, I guess. But I feel compelled to go and explore everywhere, but it's... Like, I know I'm leading back, like, three different directions. I could've gone back there. I, I just like every time I see this big open web of a city, I just like my heart sinks because it's, it's gonna be hours of rummaging around for loot everywhere. It's like that's what everybody seems to want from city missions. And... Oh well. I mean, I like it sometimes. Not every mission should be shipping and receiving. Uh, should be the love child of shipping and receiving in life of the party. That seems to be the only city design that I see these days. You'd think being a lepidopterist in the city would be a hard task, with all that smoke coming from the factories and the grime on, grime on the walls and windows. Finding new interesting butterflies sounds like a daunting task in such an environment. 
but the truth is I have encountered many extraordinary specimens over the years. One such specimen was a very peculiar butterfly I came across during a feast in Midden Chapel a few years back. More precisely, at Lord Brackman's party for the summer solstice soiree. I was half drunk in the back garden with a few other attendants when it appeared to me. A very imperial looking butterfly with very large, thin and soft wings. The colours on them were very uniform, vivid and almost glistening. I don't think I had ever seen one this big and majestic before. I was simply awestruck by its beauty. It stayed there for quite a while, fluttering about, showing off its glamorous appearance, as if it were trying to seduce us old bitter poets and lovers of the aesthetic. It certainly worked in my case, but it certainly flew away when Lord Rutherford decided to have a little accident and almost broke his jaw, and to this day I have never been able to track such a species down again. My last encounter with a specimen of interest dates back from a few months ago, just as I was meeting the eccentric Lady Ladivia at her family home in North Quarter. While she has good conversation, she is, alas, quite the pitiful writer, and I had to endure her dreadful prose for what I believe was an eternity. She probably grew as bored as me now that I think about it, as after a while she drank some wine and decided to talk about her various trips to Bone, which is a city I'd certainly love to visit. I'd really love to go to Bone Town with Lady Ladivia. It was then that it flew in, a particularly odd but fabulous specimen of the sort I had never seen before. You see, dear reader, most Lepidoptera have very smooth, thin and symmetrical wings, but this one has slightly asymmetrical, short, thick, and rather bumpy ones. As a comparison to the specimen above, the wings on this one were more complex in terms of colours with darker shades on the outside. Lady Lativia was particularly interested when I said my old self was a very avid pursuer of beauty, and that I considered Lepidoptera to be creatures that no deity would have ever dreamt of siring. Oh, this place is a mess. Is that readable? It is. Uh, and I can't tell because it doesn't actually. I mean, I frogged at it, right? It's in a position that looks, but looks uh, like readable, but it's not like readable I've ever seen. It doesn't highlight when you look at it because it's already fully lit. Never mind. Confirmation of previous query. You are in serious danger. Surely lead to the names under torture. Suggestion of hiding in the sealed section rejected, presence of undesirable elements, the supernatural type. Identity of the traitor confirmed, Eskray Vantach. Dispatch agents to silence him. He's currently hiding at Grimfast Inn, Lampfire Hills. Next meeting is Ugly Dog Ale House, Bleach Market Ward. Burn this note once memorized. SQ. So he's not just an innocent butterfly hunter, he's got more things up his sleeve. He's got a big map of the city, that's very cool. Oh, it's not, it's not very readable. It's old and tattered, I suppose. Probably dates from before the catastrophe and doesn't <sighs> accurately reflect the uh, sealed section either. Oh, everybody in this town has just, like, got papers scattered all over all the floors. And what blasphemy is this? A thief two door in the Black Parade? Zero out of ten, guys. So this must be uh, the manor. Like, this is the Blackwind Manor. Yeah, I don't know much. N I guess I can do things like this. I can say, like, I've been in here. Uh, have I been in that tower? I don't know. But I'm being in, going in through this manor. Feels like I guess he left in a hurry. I guess that's in this case. That's why this paper scattered everywhere. Ah, he uh, wanted to stop anyone breaking in and jam the furniture under the door. No, yes, they're not real swords, or he might have taken one of them. Hello, a fancy manor apartment, like more fancy apartment like that. Yes, ramshackle. Suspicious. Another fire arrow is most appreciated. I have to introduce. Ooh! Even better. Big, big butter booms. Where does this take me? Oh, 
machine room somewhere, which doesn't have street access, but has convenient air vents. And another healing potion. Beautiful. I guess he's been hiding out here? There's a campfire to keep warm and his books to keep... I don't know. I'm being too bored. Hopefully they're not Lady What's-Her-Name's writings. Okay, I came west. Does so this go... Did we go... Under the street? Over the street? More equipment. Not getting much in the way of money used from these people. Hello. Oh, there's one of those chairs with a bucket underneath it. I don't think I want the bucket. This counts as a banner. I'm not anymore. Right, so where are we now? Here, I think. It's the only place that kind of matches. Is that wood? Looks like it might be wood. Nice. This banister is way too safe person. Way too narrow for safe man. Because it goes straight over and you're just like... Uh, and you can't safely jump off it, you just have to kind of run off it. Yep, I'm not going to stop my complaining about... Uh, Brushwork that's not good for gameplay, just because it's a black parade. <sighs> if anything, they ought to know better. Oh! Nope, I was wrong. We're not up there. We came out here. No, I don't know where we are. Hang on. Direction wise, we went in there and came out there. I'm a little confused, but okay. What the point? I can't. I can't make this match up with my map. We've got this round tower ahead. Is that this place? Which means we just came out there. I don't know, the map is going to... I think I'm going to tell you the map is going to be entirely useless on this. It's too small, there's not nuanced enough, and there's way too much stuff going on. Right. I didn't go over these pipes. Although, hello, this... That's just in there, right? Pretty sure. Who's saying that? If it's that archer there, that's kind of awkward. <sighs> no, this is the this is the barricade already. Of course the barricade isn't on the map. Okay, we're getting to the barricade, looks easy. Hello, we've got another. Oh, and I'll open windows. The same damn one, you idiot. Alright, well, if that's where we're trying to get to already, then I've got some more places to explore back in this part of town. Ugh. <sighs> I mean, even down there I haven't been, right? Which I've already got up from. I'm confused. I'm... Is that what I roped up to the first... right at the start? I thought it was... somewhere else. No, that was what I roped up to right at the start. Wait, is that where I started? I didn't realise I started wasting so that far off the ground. Okay. 
I'm gonna say there's nothing there for me right now, I even though. Something. I think somebody saw me. I'm off to the opera. Please keep an eye on your father. He's back to acting demented and rubbing his skin with salt and sacred ointments from that priest crook. Do you know what he told me this time? He told me that he had to purify himself because tainted blood poured from the ceiling during the morning mass. Of course, no blood on his clothes was to be seen. I heard that a few other people have been radically changing their behaviour for a few weeks. The grocer's sister keeps cleaning her house while whispering that dust brings death. Old Craster is suddenly afraid of spirals, and one of the guards at St. Vermeer's Gate, you know that decrepit pervert, killed himself by blood loss resulting from cutting his own arm off. The thing they have in common? They were all at the old cathedral during that infamous mass. The one during which a stone suddenly began floating above the altar and started singing in a fiendish voice. Your father was there too. Huh. Just there. Where is he? Um. Oh, was that fight at me? Yeah, it was, okay. I mean, sure, I'll... If you're that bad a shot, I'll take your donation gladly. It feels to me like the Black Parade is... is... Well, timeline-wise, I don't know. So, the events at the pit felt like they were kind of contemporaneous with, or thereabouts with breaking at Baffords in uh, the first mission of Beef. It's going which way? West? Oh, it's just in the interior. No guards to bother me in this house? I mean... The problem with Rich people, when they have no guards, is that usually it means they have very little money left. Otherwise, they'd be paying the guards to, well, guard it. At least I've got some grapes and apples for me. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, it felt con contemporaneous with uh, <sighs> the events of the Dark Project, and in particular, Vapids. Whereas this is now. Talking about the sealing up of the old quarter as if uh, it's only been, I don't know, months at most? And yet that was like a hundred years ago ish. In, uh. Like, it happened. It was before, just before living memory, or just on the edge of living memory in B1. As far as I can recall. Not that it matters, I don't care about law. Like, make your own take on the uh, story and have fun with it. Okay, so that's another very easy access to the barricade. And the, and the archer who shot me. Hello. Wow, humans have a very good eye for secret doors, don't they? Garden key. More fire arrows. I'm getting a little suspicious now about how many fire arrows this mission is giving me. I mean, two so far, but. Do I go up or down? down for the moment because I want to stay above the ground level as much as I can. some leftovers to the dogs and the beggars. The Baron's coffers are dry, you big dummy. Haven't you noticed how high the levy on the foodstuffs is lately? War costs money, you know. I don't understand. If the Baron needs so much money, why is he not minting more coins? 
because minting more coins means lowering the value of gold. Uh huh? Since when? Oh, and blast it. You both give me a headache. I'm off to my patrol. <laughs> Guess there's a reason he's a guard and not an economist. Please don't walk into me. <laughs> Doesn't sound like he's off his patrol, it sounds like he's just standing there. Okay, now he's gone. <laughs> Meat. Pickpocket. So it all goes south. Back to street level. Hang on. Is that where I started? Up there. Okay, there's probably some places I've missed. Along the way, then. <sighs> Stop right there. What? What's your problem? Wasn't doing anything wrong. Dancing Plague Street. Not the key, not the right key, okay. I didn't think it would be. to the house. <sighs> Can we take that? It's trying to lean forward and it just slipped. Or do I reload? <sighs> I was trying to see if it was like gas arrows. Yeah, I mean, probably not. It's not out of the way enough. People only like to hide gas arrows in out of the way places. This window doesn't open. Does this one? Nay. So, where do I go from here? Back up to the start. Can't go forward. What? <laughs> what the hell? I don't know how that happened. I always survived that. Ah, uh, dark engine. Never change. Just gonna slip backwards and wind it on edges and slopes by pure luck. <sighs> Alright, in that case, I am. Previous damage is. Uh... <laughs> oh, well, I guess I'm reloading after all. Oh, fucking hell. Alright, well, I don't need to climb up on there. There's nothing up there. Let's put this in a place where it's slightly easier to mantle. It's still a very thin board for mantling, which makes it. has to be at just the right height in front of your face, otherwise, you'll fail it. 
but uh, at least the fight is a little more. Uh, well, there's one man. Right, this is where I started. Didn't realize the status of the ground, but now what? I mean, I guess I can use this as a way down. <laughs> or a quick way down. Okay, well, so we got, oh, the alchemical supplies. See me. Guys don't mind, okay. Well, that's the house I came out of, isn't it? Ah, <laughs> oh, that is probably this estate. Oh, I haven't been in here. Delivery to Glendower Estate. Three barrels of white mayonnaise. Two crates of strong mayonnaise jars. Total 215. Please forgive my curiosity, but why do you need so much mayonnaise? Since you seem to enjoy the sauce's acidic taste so much, what would you say to a sample of Hutobillion Grey Cheese? The savours of this delicious cheese are very similar. I'm certain you'd like it. Bokoi and Lanisset. Treasures of fine delicacies. Oh, this is where I just was. Alright, so I want to go upstairs in here. Anyone! Anyone! There's a prowler through here! What? Be off with you! No trespassing allowed! You can't see me! No what? more warning, villain! Are Make you yourself scarce! Are you cheating? You're dead, pal! Are you cheating? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, the, I... I think they'll both set up to have a, a uh, trigger... ...for me being... Uh, Oh, for when they were outside, and me being outside there, and then I wasn't close enough to trigger it when I was outside, and it didn't get removed when they came inside. And so they both reacted based on the distance trigger. Outside, it kind of would have made more sense, even if they hadn't act didn't hadn't actually seen me. Okay, the steps are going up, but down there, obviously, they couldn't see me. They play the. They read their lines. They're good actors. They, even if it, the scene doesn't make sense to them, they still do what their director needs. Oh, I thought I'd be able to get out here. It's the only way out where I came in. Oh, I thought he was coming up here. Well, if he's going downstairs, that's fine by me. Alright. Guess there's nothing more in this place for me. But where was the garden? I was looking for a garden door. 
Got a garden key and I haven't found a garden. <sighs> Maybe the garden's at ground level down here. will come in handy. I seem to be taking damage already, so... Door to nowhere. I have entered low. Somebody loves to use a valuable fire poker for their ritual fires. Oh, that will have to be mine. Guards. Oh. Oh, it's just this house again. Did I come in here before? Guess I probably did. Yeah, because I hit that switch. It's a garden key. That wasn't a locked door up here, was that? It's the only kind of garden I've seen. Hmm. I feel like I should go back to ground level again. Can I do this safely? Almost. I just needed to be ready to mantle. I thought I would go a little further. Nope. Oh, fail mantle. One more try, and then I'll come up with a different tactic. Here we go. So I just want to get down to street level. I think I do. <sighs> oh, even this drop is too far, too high for me, isn't it? <sighs> doing well, Hume. Doing well. Dancing Plague Street. Got a basement of interest there, hello. Let it be known that the Honourable D. Blackwind, alderman of Gloomside Ward, is looking for a competence. Men and women alike, able in mathematics, algebra, and all means of numerical sciences. Excellent salaries and lodgings are to be expected. If interested, inquire in person or by messenger at his mansion, Dancing Blake Street. Printed by Cornelius Adderton, Duskmoor District. I was actually going to comment on... Uh, Printing, right? Because they've got this newspaper in in this place. But uh, where am I now? Am I, am I down here? No idea where I am. These streets are so twisty, and they don't seem to match up with the map particularly cleanly that I can tell. Like probably does if you can see from the. You know, from the sky, but who can see from the sky? I'm a thief, not a helicopter. Ugh. Floundering in his own vomit. The excellent Gazette bringing the truth since 827. Please like and subscribe. Make them pay! Make them drink the seawaters, drown them in drip frost sewage. The recent accidents at Wayside's factories have been caused by agents from Blackbrook. Do your duty for the city. Gather all the outsiders to the docks and throw them into the sea. See, the excellent Gazette is always right. Only drunkards and heretics drink alcohol. Alcohol is the trickster's own urine that comes right out of his realm of malice and chaos. 
Thus spoke the High Priest Markander. Let us all throw the pagan juice away. Even drinking Foul Creek's waters is safer. Let us show the winemakers what proud citizens drink. Hang on, your other gazette was was saying the Hammerites were all full of shit. Patriotic meats. More and more blue bloods are buying Roxbury's horrible blood sausages. They forget the good old peverade pies and minor steaks that shape our city's culture. This is a war against our gastronomy. Let us show our decadent aristocracy what meats true patriots eat. Yes, they rag of rags. Hello. Is that the garden door? No. A window up there. No, there's a loot, but no loot. Always a shame when that happens. There's a bit of garden. No sign of a door. <sighs> More sorrow. Cool. Well, I mean, if anyone in the city has a few more healing potions lying around, I won't say no. They're... They seem to have more need of them than uh, than most. Silly Stories for Good Children by Joseph Quinn Bradle. Grind teeth for me. Malicious youngsters who think they're smart because they could slip into ventilation shafts should be cautious of grind teeth Grimmy's grind covered sharp teeth. He's a very old beggar, cursed by the builder to roam eternally in air shafts and pipes alike before his final coming. Soot and dirt are his only food, along with the occasional dead rat. So if he sees a child juicy bottom, he won't hesitate. Soggy Sally! Don't play in puddles lest you receive Soggy Sally's glare. She's an evil pagan fairy living in a realm where honey and fruits are replaced with cod liver oil and smelly cabbages. And you shall be a permanent guest if she's dragging you in. The hag. Children who wander at night are met with the hag. They call her the Grey Lady too because she's covered head to toe with grey sackcloth. She's looking for children to steal their skin. So you better stay at home when it's past the eleventh toll. Well, one of those scary stories might be true. But how would any how would you know which one? Oh, what about the scary sneeze monster that uh, attacks un innocent uh, let's players when they least expect it? Oh, hello. There's another layer up there. Can I have a go up there? I mean, that's not wooden. It's an open window for sure. That is east. Hmm. That door didn't open, right? And the crates were a long way away. And that's not wood. Have to get down here as well without taking more fall, <laughs> fall damage. Well, it's easy to get down by accident. I should have put my keys, my fingers on the wrong keys on the keyboard like I did just then. Ah. Wouldn't it be hilarious if I used up all my. Oh, hello. All my healing potions. Get on the chair. Get on that. Get on. Hume! I shall send you to bed without any supper if you don't obey. Yeah, there really isn't a way for me to get up there, is there? Interesting. Now I've got to get down again. Okay. This time I should be able to make it without. Hmm. Must have been rats. Yeah, probably. Oh, Sorry, mate. Impulsive. I woke you up to stop the rats chewing on you. Now you get. Doing a weird impression of Beaker. I'm not sure what they were saying, talking about. Is this the garden door? Nope. Don't 
just your regular ass door. Nothing suspicious going on down here, officer. This clicking you hear is just the imagination of the spiders in your mind. SRC4, rabble rousing and suspicious behaviour. A judge to the pillory. Two sister time out for drunkenness, pissing on the alderman's property. Cell 2, unusable. Cell 3, Shirley B for causing a scene. A judge to the cooking stall. Note, Jacqueline has been transferred to Guy Let's Speak on Abbot Eckbert's request. Guy Let's Speak, I'm sure I pronounced that differently last time. the unusable cell? Or is that the unusable cell? Well, that cell certainly doesn't seem in any condition to be used. What's going on this in this place? It's like hammerites the whole the hammerite lockup? Because he's not a hammerite, but there's hammerite symbols everywhere. What's that? <sighs> oh, it's just like the first boiler. Don't see anything now. Must be an old place. Must be an old place indeed. You know, of all the things in this entire mission, that has been that's my favourite so far. You have this ridiculous oh here's the first boiler in the cathedral. What's that noise? And then you have an actual example of uh, the boilers here. Oh that's the unusable cell, I see. Somebody blew it up trying to escape before. Well, I can't open any of these. Someone behind me. I bet this goes to the seal crate se section, except it's going the wrong way. Oh, this is the basement. <sighs> nice. I guess we're there in just a second. I guess there's nothing else in here. Whose house is this? Seems fancy. Oh no, here everybody everybody's just dropping paper all over the floor everywhere. Doesn't any, don't any of these rich people have servants to clean up? Apparently not. The builder does not want good words and good desires, but efficient workmanship, fervor and courage. Saint Basilius, the sesquicentenarian blacksmith. Sesquicentenarian? Really? That's 150 years is quite a long time. Hmm. I wonder what that switch does. Why are those open so ridiculously fast? That's bizarre. That's very bizarre. Oh, this is the alchemy, alchemy supplies. Right, there's a bolted door. That explains the potions and stuff. It doesn't explain the uh, extreme speed of the uh, door there. A lot of flies, though. Hmm. 
wonder if that switch opens this. Or if it's meant to light switch. That... What happened there? That didn't open. Oh, those are traps. Right, I stepped on that and didn't realize. For a sec, where did I see that switch? It's just down here, hang on. What? Am I blind? Oh, that. And that's gonna be the switch for the traps. Yeah, okay. I don't know if that makes sense, but, um... Maybe I can't open this from this side. Maybe it'll only be a way out. Very good use of the particle effects, by the way. Yeah, these clouds of flies, they, uh... Excellent use of the particle effects. I'm much better than the stock fly cloud that surrounds a thing. I just looks like a highly dense... Uh bunch of flies, that's really good. Second best use of particle effects uh, in my book. One of my best one is the um, still Raven's Reach, the little tiny spiders going all over the floors. Which is super creative and super effective. Don't try to run, Tapper! Just surrender now! Are you alright? You... Seem conflicted. I'm not trying to run. Huh? <sighs> I have been up here. Behold, Baron's justice. Been up there, I guess. Right. Um, oh, of course, there was a second way down. Oh, hello. There was a second way down. Uh, from that cell. The City Herald. The theft epidemic continues to ravage the city. The Abbey of St. Grimal, the father of boilers, ended up being another target in an unprecedented series of heists taking place all over the city. While hits on noble estates have become almost mundane over the last year, now it seems not even the Order of the Hammer is safe from this plague. St. Grimal's Chalice, an artifact of inestimable value for the Order, has been removed right from the reliquary at the heart of the Abbey. Cardinal Berengi has refused to make any official statement. Meanwhile, Father Giyav of Hightown has been quite vocal about the event. It is no doubt the result of corruption within our very order. No miscreant would have ever gotten close to the chalice had the funds been properly allocated. Someone must have spent too much of the tithes on gold candlesticks. But worry not, the builder's right judgment shall befall all sinners who are to blame for this. Nevertheless, nobody yet knows who this mysterious burglar is, or if these heists are even being perpetrated by the same individual. The last case this brazen took place mere months ago, when Lord Solus's fabled gem collection, the Gems of Sarnoth, were stolen. To date, there is no trace of the gems, and while the Baron's police claims to have several suspects, Commissioner Truett re reiterated that they are not at liberty to release any details. The only figure to have been implicated in the case is Lord Rainsford. Allegedly, details of his criminal activities that may have to do with heists have been revealed in an, anon anom blah 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 blah, in an anonymous tip-off last Pampinosis. However, their suspicions were dropped almost immediately by the Baron's police for reasons not revealed to the public. Lord Rainsford himself, however, has been quoted saying, This is most certainly a prank by one of my rivals, 
Just think for a moment, isn't it utterly foolish to keep a written track of illegal dealings? With no seeming progress made towards unravelling this mystery, the Herald can only predict that another big heist is bound to happen within the next few months. Rumble Bowl! Old Court is still losing against Downtown. Terrible. Terrible. Are you going to start shooting at me again? I hope not. You, you could see me from there. So I'm not... This, this is another mission with some... Hmm. It's not unique to the Black Parade, for sure. Every mission, every big mission that tries to do... Sometimes neutral guards... Gets... A, well, it never go. It can never go smoothly. That's a fancy chair. It's too fancy for a place like this. Hello. More water. More water arrows. I guess there's nothing else up there. Because if there is, I can't get up there to find out. All right, and we've been out here. So I recognise those windows. I don't want to get down that way, do I? Because I won't be able to get my rope back. Although... I, mean, I don't know which way I want to approach this. The wall, either. Hello. How did I get out of here? I didn't just go back the way I came in, did I? No, I haven't. Right. I saw something down the street level there that I wanted to uh, look into, but was prevented by not having an easy way back down to street level. Whereas here we... Well, here we do have a way back to the street level. Sort of. We have successfully navigated this path before. Ah! They say confidently as they trip over their own feet and uh, smash face first into the ground. Yet again, oh, I'm hitting that light. Okay, I'm not tripping over my own feet, I'm tripping over my own forehead. It's almost as, almost as funny. My god, it's an hour already and I haven't... What's that? God, he saw me. He's got a purse. But he saw me. That's the problem. I need him not to see me for... Uh... Oh, she's coming to search as well. Mind your own business, ma'am. Okay, so this is the Hammerite place with the cells on the east, and I'm sure that's I'm sure that passageway is going to give me access to the sealed section, right? Hopefully. Where did the guard was supposed to go? I don't want it. I also don't want to go out in the streets where he'll see me again. comes up these stairs, that's fine. Or if he turns left, that's also fine. He should have forgotten me by now. Yes, indeed. Okay, so... No, where was the street that I was seeing? I was sure it was the street that I looked at from... <sighs> Right 
But where where was I looking out of then though? I'm confused. I've been along those pipes. Or was that where I was being shot at? Oh yeah, because this is a barricade here, so that's what I was seeing. A little statue there, I was wondering if it was collectible. I guess not. I guess it's out of range. Alright, let's go back. Forget the garden key. Let's go back down here. Through the cells. And hopefully... That will let us make our way. Too much coffee this morning. I'm twitchy as hell. In this case, it's going to first. Seems clear. Hopefully, that will let us make our way into the sealed section where our where we actually need to be. Who goes there? Two people locked up there. We're not alone down here. Well, I think I might end the episode right here. Thanks for watching. And when you come back, we will see what's making this very strange clicking sound that I'm sure nobody recognizes whatsoever.